Hello YouTube, BenB998 here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to week 4 in Portland, Oregon of our WWE 2K22 My GM mode. Last week we had our best week yet and we're hoping to continue on that trend as we gain more fans than NXT and our budget is going downhill but we're going to fix that this week hopefully. And as usual, we're going to go over last week's match card and go over the results. So first off, last week we had Karrion Cross versus Samoa Joe in an Extreme Rules match. Joe won that match with a four-star rating, which was awesome for us. Afterwards, Reckoning called out Dana Brooke and started a level one rivalry with her. After that, there was Liv Morgan versus Bailey. Bailey won that match because of Raquel running in on Liv. That ended up being a two-star match. However, we got a Raquel and Liv's rivalry up to a level three, which is awesome right before the pay-per-view. Uh, after that, we had Ray call out Mace and up their rivalry to a level two. And then we ended off the show with Edge versus AJ Styles. AJ won that match. It was a TLC match. And it was three and a half stars and started a, a level one rivalry between the two of them. So our commissioner goal for this week is we have to have our most popular available female heel and face fight each other this week, which should be easy enough. And we also need to get Mace a partner up with T-Bar in a tag match within the next three weeks. And we also need to have a grudge match between Ray and Mace within the next three weeks. I think what we're going to do this week is have Mace and T-Bar team up against Ray and another superstar to knock that out and also uh, just kind of build up that rivalry right before the pay-per-view a little bit more. So let's get to booking the show. So for, I like to do promos first now, I think. I think it just helps out with everything. So just to go over who we can't use because we need to get this uh, commissioner goal done. Uh, so we need the best female and a female face and female heel against each other. Our best face would be Liv, and our best heel would be what, Bailey? So we can't use Liv or Bailey in a promo, which is fair enough. So maybe another Reckoning Dana Brooke um, promo, or maybe we could start building up uh, Apollo Crews. Let's do a self promo for Apollo, see if we can get his, stand or his uh, popularity up a little bit. And maybe a call out between Edge and AJ just to try to build up that rivalry a tad bit more. Um, let's go opener. And let's open up with that match, uh, the Liv Morgan uh, Bailey match. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's unfortunate. This could injure Liv. This could actually ruin our pay-per-view if we actually do this um if it's a, if it's a normal match and just do a standard one-on-one -on -one match because i don't want to inj if i can avoid injury on live that'd be great but even this is going to be pushing it a little bit for our mid card i think we're what we're going to do is do reckoning versus dana brooke and we're going to up that we're going to actually make that a tlc match see if we can build up that rivalry a bit more and then for our main event we're going to do that tag team match that mace wants so we're gonna have mace and t-bar go up against ray and who could we give or uh pair them up with here maybe joe and their stamina is decent so let's put them in a tables match actually no let's put them in an extreme rules match um, that should still give them the ability to make the pay-per-view without being injured, which is what we want. And I think that's our match card for this week. Let's see. We met three of the four bonuses, which is fine enough in my opinion. And we got the commissioner goal and we're going to get, maybe we might get both of these. I'm not sure if this, uh, grudge match needs to be a one-on-one -on -one or not. So yeah, let's get into the show. All right, to start off our show, we have Liv Morgan versus Bailey in a standard one-on-one -on -one match. Let's see who gets it. One, two, three. Bailey wins. Two-star mediocre match. Kind of a rough start. I was expecting that, but we need to keep Liv available for the pay-per-view. So I didn't want to push her too much. 
Next, we have Apollo Crews doing a self promo. It was excellent. Got his popularity up, which is great to build up a rivalry in the future. Now we have Reckoning versus Dana Brooke in a TLC match. Let's see who wins this one. Reckoning beats Dana Brooke in a three-star match. Gets their level up to level two. Perfect. Get a rivalry going for maybe next pay-per-view. Now we have Edge calling out AJ. Got their rivalry up to two. It wasn't the best promo, but I'll take it. And now for our main event, a Extreme Rules tag team match between T-Bar or T-Bar and Mace versus Ray and Samoa Joe. Let's see who wins this one. T-Bar and Mace win it in a four-star match. Awesome. Great main event. All right. Now we have NXT show starting off with an Extreme Rules match between Shotzi and Nia Jax. And Shotzi one-ups Nia in a four-star opener. Ooh, this might not be a good week for us. I think uh, this... This match, or this card for NXT might be beating ours. All right, now we have Ivar versus Raul Mendoza. Ivar wins in that tables match. Three star. Still, I, I they're probably beating us this week, unfortunately. <laughs> um, now we got Roderick calling out John. Got their rivalry to three right before the pay-per-view. Perfect for them. And now Tamina versus Io Shirai. TLC match to end it off. Tamina beats Io Shirai in a three-star match. All right, so they destroyed us in the opening. Mid-card, we were pretty even. And then the main event, we beat them on that just by a star, though. Overall, I think NXT beat us this week, but we'll see. We'll see in the overall stats here. All right, so we're still in the negative, which sucks because we were in the negative last week. Um, but we did learn that Mace and T-Bar work really well as a tag team. And we learned that Reckoning is a natural at TLC matches. So we got to keep that in mind. Thankfully, we are still number one ranked. I thought we were going down to two. I still believe that they beat us this week in terms of matches, but... We're still overall above them right now. So yeah, at the end of week four, we are... There's actually a pretty similar gap in terms of fans than uh, last week. So I don't think we necessarily made progress, but we still stayed in front of NXT overall, which is awesome. All right, so week five is WrestleMania Backlash, our first pay-per-view. And we got a couple text messages from a couple of our superstars. So let's take a look at these. Mace is telling us, I told you, T-Bar and I really hit it off as a team last week. Thanks for pairing us up. We're looking forward to the next tag match. Did you hear the crowd last week? And we got our first tag team win. I knew T-Bar and I would kill it. You just keep putting us in tag matches and we'll keep delivering the ratings. So maybe we should start a regular tag team with them. Now, Joe tells us, I've been putting in a lot of work and I think I've earned a shot at the title. How about it? He's asking for a title shot. We could definitely give him one maybe after the pay-per-view. Obviously, we got to keep our um, Ray versus Mace main event um, available for that. But uh, I wouldn't be against giving him a title shot maybe on SmackDown the week after or maybe a couple weeks after. So let's let's agree to that. Ray, looking forward to it. Awesome. All right, guys, that will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.